Hey everyone, it's Anik again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a update on my Piano's Eyeshadows project. It's going to be my progress over the month of July. Um, I recently, probably maybe just like a day or so before I'm filming this, posted my um, May-June progress video, which is very overdue, I know, but hey life is a little crazy right now so um i'm still panning shadows i'm still working on that progress i'm just not been in a place where i can record or upload um i had that last video recorded for a little bit um just did not have enough time to like actually upload it which is insane but here we are i'm still working on things and i would like to show you some of the progress i made in the month of july so in july i only hit pan on one eyeshadow um, which to me is great progress because I have not been wearing makeup as much as I used to in the past. This is the first time I've actually put on foundation and I'm not sure it matches me still because I have not been in the sun for anything. It is hot and I just don't want to go outside. Um, also, you know, things are happening right now. So <laughs> this is the first time I've actually put on any kind of foundation in a hot minute. So. Um, Eyeshadow though, I've been trying to incorporate a lot more like when I go to work or just sitting around the house. I have been wearing a lipstick and lip gloss around the house, which is really funny because I'm literally not wearing it for anyone but me and my dogs um, and my husband, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I've not really worn a lot of makeup, just some eyeshadow here and there, lip gloss when I'm at home. Um, but I did hit pan on one. It's been one in the product for a little bit. It's from the Tarte. High Performance Naturals Holiday Palette. It's going to be this one right here, and it was the shade Winter in Chill. So as you can see, catch the light. There is right there. Oh, my nails are nasty. Sorry about that. Um, but you can see right in that corner, there is some pan. The rest of that like kind of white silver stuff is just some glitter that's mixed into the eyeshadow. But right at that corner is the actual pan. So in the month of July, I used the shade Winter in Chill a total of six times for a total of 15 times in the entire project before I hit pan. So pretty good progress. Um, I hit pan toward the end of July, July 23rd, with 15 uses in total. Um, I'm pretty excited. That shade is really pretty. And let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Very pretty, like, maroon shimmery shade very refined right. so uh, last month i rolled in five new shadows um so all of these next shadows i did not hit pan on but they've only been in the project for one month and i have to admit i haven't used them as much as i probably should have. so let's go ahead and look at the one that i used the most this month and it's from the perfusion wonderlust palette it is the shade statement hold it this way this time and is that one right there. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of a dip. Um, there's a tiny little bit of a dip. I only used it a total of four times this month, but it is a great transition shade um, because I haven't been wearing makeup as much. I think that's the reason why I didn't get too close. It almost matches. Better look at that. It almost is the shade of my skin. <laughs> There you go. Very pretty shade. Very useful shade. Um, I know like browns and tans tend to be a little bit boring, but they're very useful. Great transition shades. The next shadow that I use the most, and when I say most, I'm being very generous <laughs> with that. Um, I only used the shade twice in the month of July, but it came from the um, Kathleen Lights ColourPop Collab um, Zodiac Palette. And it is the shade the Gemini, which is oops, which is that pretty gold right there, super reflective as well. It is also my zodiac sign. So very very pretty gold, very pretty. I use that a total of two times. The next two shades come from the same palette. They're gonna come from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Straw Breaker Palette. 
this palette's been in this project twice before and both of these shades that I rolled in last month I've only used once since then so it's the shade suck and the shade oop I almost smeared everything off it's the shade suck which is this orange shade right here and then bubble gum so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of those for you So that is suck and a bubble gum. Those two. My lights are really bright. I don't know if it's because I'm sitting higher. What? Ooh, I think I almost. There you go. You'd see better there, anyway. So two very pretty shades, and I'm really loving oranges right now. Um, I dyed my hair orange before my last video and it already started fading. That's how long it's been since I started <laughs> posting and then I put some more red in my hair. Um, we'll see what happens. The shadow that I have in this project from last month that I did not hit pan on comes from the BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. This is a very, very nice palette. Um, the shimmers are gorgeous. I used this for like every wedding I went to in 2018 um just super pretty 2018 2019 i think it's 2019 i think i might have lied in the last video um but the shade in this project and i did not use the shade a single time this past month is the shade prestige this one right here it's a very like pretty kind of chrome shade Ooh, almost dropped everything on the floor Very pretty shade. I wore that one to my cousin's wedding um, in June last year. It was 2019. Last year was 2019. <sighs> I'll get my life together someday. Alright, so this month we're only going to be rolling in one shadow since I only hit pain all winter and chill in July. Um, I already have the app pulled up with all of the eyeshadows that I have. You can see like the sheen stuff on the bottom that I've been browsing <laughs> and in an Excel sheet I have all of my eyeshadows listed and they're listed by brand um, I don't know if you can see some of them because it's so bright I need to do better about that anyway so we will only be hitting this randomize button once so let's go I think I can turn it down just a little bit Better? Better. Oh, you can see how gross my screen is. Okay, randomize, and it is the shade 286. So I'll just hop over to my um, Excel sheet, and it's actually going to be another shadow in that Tarte High Performance palette. Uh, give me one second. It's the shade Lux. So what are the odds? Um, it is also from <laughs> that winter and chill little mini uh, compact palette. It's going to be the shade right here in the center. It's a shade Lux. So let me go ahead and swatch that one for us. It's a very like deep mauve shade. It's actually really pretty. Ooh, that may look nice with the that chrome and that gold. Okay, so I guess we're going to be keeping this tiny little compact in for the month of August. Whoa, that was loud. Um, and this is the color story for August. Let me know. It's almost exactly the same, except it's not shimmer this time, which is kind of funny. Um, but let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.